everyone and welcome to this behind the scenes video of the Wave Dot Video live studio. So what I'm doing now is I've got about 15 minutes to the start of my live stream. So I thought I'd just record the process that I go through in order to get ready for my live, live stream. So I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to record everything that I'm doing. And then if you have any questions about what I'm doing, how I'm adding in scenes, how I'm actually accessing the live stream, where I'm plugging in my webcams and things like that, then, you know, drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to help. So I'm going to share my whole screen with you and then we're going to pick up where I'm at. So I'm in my live studio, as you can see here, I'm in the wave.video dashboard as such and I have like my videos here I have my streams here my account my subscriptions now I already pre-scheduled this live stream so it's showing up on various different places including my YouTube channel if I just open this up here I can show you that it is in my YouTube so if I go here um and we go here, I have this upcoming live stream tab enabled on my YouTube channel. So any live streams that are coming up, I have this done. So if you want to find out about that, then, you know, drop me a line and we can arrange a one to one and I can show you how to do that. So this is my live stream that I pre scheduled inside of my wave dot video and I actually put a promotional trailer in there as well so that's another thing that you maybe want to ask me about but we'll get back to that later so this is the live stream that I've pre-planned and here inside my wave dot video studio all I need to do is go to my streams and as you can see here it says going live in 16 minutes and these are all the different channels I'm going live to I am live streaming to LinkedIn, but I'm using Restream to do that. So I'm using the RTMP option in there so that I can get my live stream onto LinkedIn as well. So all you need to do is you come here and you click enter studio. Now entering the studio doesn't mean you're gonna go live. Basically it lets you set up everything. So I'm using my blue snowball microphone. I do have a blue Yeti, but um, it's just been playing up recently. So I've just jumped back down to this one. You can put your display name and of course you can have your title this is where you can check your other settings so if you go to settings this is where you can check that your camera now i have got snap camera on but i'm actually using my logitech stream cam so if i go to that you can see that my logitech stream cams on my snap camera which is over here just adds this nice little filter so it's a bit like when you're in the zoom it just gets rid of the wrinkles a little bit so if I just go here you can see that if I put the snap camera on I just go a little bit smoother so just not as wrinkly not that I'm that wrinkly but anyway then you can go to your audio so I've got my blue snowball you can see that I'm just going to use the speaker if you want to test it just click it so I can hear that that's fine put the echo cancellation on just stops all that noise and if you do have stereo audio you can put that on as well um but your echo cancellation cancellation has to be off to have that on there are some neat little shortcuts here that I haven't memorized yet but obviously these need to be uh memorized so that you can then just use your keys whilst you're going in so there's your avatar if you want to change that so once you're happy with everything just close the cross down and click enter studio. So this is where we go into the studio. Now this is where all the magic happens. And this is what I wanted to show some of you how to do because yes, okay, you've got access to the live beta, but actually sometimes the tech just in the access is overwhelming for some of you. So this hopefully will help you get through that. And if you're wondering, you know, why I know this, I just have this knack for tech. So if you do need to know anything about how to create those tax decks for your sales and marketing funnels, just give me a shout. There's some new things coming up. Okay, brand wise, you can have your brand here. So I'm using my Anita Wong brand. Obviously you can have different brands depending on your level. The brand enables you to pull in videos. So I've got my logos, but I've also got my pre and my post roll videos in here that I created in my live streams, uh, in my wave.video editor. So that's another video altogether, but I wanna use this brand so that I can actually put my welcome to the digital dots live on when I want it to be on when I'm actually going live. That's the first thing we need to make sure we've got. Then just make sure that your logo is there if you need them. I don't actually put my logo up here. Um, just don't. So there you go. Captions. This is where you can preload things. So usually I have lots of stuff in here preloaded. So if you want to add one in, you just click on here. 
and um, <clears throat> you can delete the example or you click the plus button and here I'm going to put webcam secret controls. If you want it to go as a ticker across the bottom, you click the ticker option and add the caption and then you can show the caption by clicking that and that will go along the bottom all the way through my live if you want it. So you can have it as a ticker, otherwise you can edit it, turn off the ticker, save it and just have it showing up along the bottom so that sort of introduces what's going on. So what I need to do is I need to go to the Logitech site that I know where my download is. So I want to open that up ready. So that's this secret download that I want to tell people about. So I want to make sure I've got that open. And I, what I want to do is I want to copy that and I want to put that into one of my captions as well so that I can share that during my live stream. So those are the sort of main things that I've got in this section. Now I'm going to jump over to this bit up here where it says show scene. So in order for me to streamline how I show people things, I want to actually prepare my scenes in advance. So to do that, this one here is what I'm already on. This is my camera, this one here. And to add a new scene, I just click the plus button and then I edit the scene. So now there's nothing on the scene at the moment. So what I want to do in this one is I want to add my Logitech camera, my other camera, which is up there, um, by clicking add camera. Oh, did you hear that outside? Um, and then I'm going to go for HD Pro webcam, that's just that one. And then I'm going to show on stream and then I'm going to show my other camera on stream. So now you've got two different angles of me. Now you can really see the difference between the snap cam and the non snap cam filter. So just so that you know, I much prefer the snap cam one. <laughs> anyway, let's not go on to that. So this is one of the scenes that I want to keep because I want to show the comparison of the two different cameras. But what I want to really show in this particular live is the controller. So I've got that as well. So what I need to do now is I need to click another scene, edit the scene, and then I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to grab the Chrome tab that I've got open, which is the window, which is this one. So this is the Logitech controller that I'm going to share in the live. So I'm going to just move that there for a second. And I'm going to add this to the stream so that people can see this. And then I'm going to just add my self to this as well here. So I'm going to add this one in and I need to then choose a different format. So maybe I'll do this one so that there's a little circle of me. Now you can make these circles a little bit bigger if you want. So to make it bigger, just grab it a little bit because sometimes it's a little bit small. There you go. Now, now I'm all set. So I just need to just check that the camera setting here I have visible. And then I just want to make sure that it works. So standard, it brings it to here. Yeah. And then I go widescreen because it was playing up the other day. And then what I do is I need to move this out of the way. I click the plus button and it brings me forward. So this is where I get control of what I'm doing, which is ace. OK, so I know that that works. So I'm going to just bring that down and leave that sitting there for now. Now, what I've got is I have all these different scenes so I can switch back to like to any scene and I can jump to each scene as I as I wish. Now, there is this transition here. So I quite like the slide, which means that when I swap to this one, it slides over. And when I swap to this one, it slides over again. So that's pretty much all I'm going to say. I might talk a little bit about snap cam. So if I want to do that, I need to just add another scene. So I click plus. Again, I go edit scene. This time I'm going to share the snap cam. So I'm going to grab the window with the snap cam on and share that. And I need to add that to my stream. And again, I'm going to add the camera with me on and I need to again go down here. So if you click add to stream and you're not seeing it, it's because you added your screen share first and it's not, you know, you need to come down here to these different layouts. So if I go here again, I'm going to just make my little circle a little bit bigger. And now I can talk about my snap cam if I want to. I think that's all I'm going to do for this 
preparation. So I'm going to stop. OK, so then what happens, just so that you know, now you're all ready. Best thing to do is to go to the scene that you want to start with, which is this one. Now, I also think that you it's handy to have the live chat open. So you can click on the live chat. And what Wave have done is they've made it really cool. They've added this option for it to pop up. So as you can see now, my live chat's popped up over here. So I could place that somewhere on my screen so that I could keep an eye on it if I wanted to. I've also got my laptop open here for LinkedIn because I want to try and re like reply to some people on LinkedIn. And I know that we don't have that set up yet. Another thing is if you have guest chat, you can privately talk to people who are joining you on the live stream as well. But we'll get to that later. So then just go through, make sure everything's fine. I'm going to have my intro. So what I usually do for this is this is my intro. I click it and then I press the go live. So they, the first couple of seconds are off, but that's fine. And then when I'm leaving, I do my outro. So I always have these two here. I find that if I put them into a scene, they don't always start at the beginning. So um, that's irrelevant anyway. OK, so there's also all these nice little sounds that you can play with, drum rolls, things like that. So there's lots of things that you can do in here, but I just wanted to just give you a behind the scenes of what's going on. And then all you need to do, I've got five minutes till I finish. So I'm going to stop my share with uh, my recording and I'm going to wrap this up and put this on my YouTube channel. So if you want to find out more about using the wave.video live studio, it's in beta. It's available hopefully very soon to everybody. There's a link under this video that enables you to sign up for wave.video. They do have different pricing depending on what your needs are. And the live studio is integrated into the wave.video editor so that you can have a seamless process between editing videos, going live, and then editing the live videos so you can create short snippets, repurposing, and things like that. My name's Anita Wong. I'm a tech and digital marketing strategist, and I help you to create your tech stacks for your sales and marketing automation and flow. So in other words, if you want to get visible using live streaming, I will go through all the tech that you need in order to make that seamless workflow work for you so that you can go from being visible to making sales without having to be being up at midnight and things like that trying to send emails so that's what i do if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give me the thumbs up and do subscribe to my youtube channel it's the only time i've asked you to do that in this video but i would love 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 to grow my youtube community and i do have a special tech academy coming which is a low cost monthly offer where you get behind the scenes information a bit like what I've done today in this video plus you get exclusive live Q and A's with me once a month so there's more on that coming but for now I hope you've enjoyed this video happy live streaming and I will see you in my next video and don't forget to join me on my digital dots live stream every Tuesday at 1 p.m GMT <gasps> okay I'll see you soon bye for now